Semigroups and associativity. Let star be a binary operation on a set S. We say that star is associative in S if for all x, y, z in S we have x star y star z is equal to x star y star z. A semigroup is a pair S star where S is a set and star is an associative binary operation on S. Let's look at some simple examples of semigroups. The natural numbers together with addition is a semigroup. The integers together with addition. The natural numbers together with multiplication. And the integers together with multiplication. These are all semigroups because the given operation is a binary operation on the given set and the operation is associative in that set. Let's look at another example. Let s equal the set of integers and define star by a star b equals min a b where min a b is the smallest of a or b. Is s star a semigroup? Yes it is. We already saw that star is a binary operation on the set of integers. We just need to check associativity. There are actually six cases to consider here. We'll do a couple of them in detail and then just mention what the other ones are so that you can try them on your own. So case one is if A is less than or equal to B and B is less than or equal to C. In this case, a star b star c is equal to min a b star c because a star b by definition is min a b. Now min a b is equal to a because for this case we're assuming that a is less than or equal to b. Now a star c is min a c which again is a because we're assuming A is the smallest of A, B, and C. Now A star B star C, by definition of star again, is A star min B, C. Since B is less than or equal to C, min B, C is B. So A star min B, C is A star B, which again by definition of star is min A, B which is equal to a because a is less than or equal to b. Since both a star b star c is a and a star b star c is a, we have that a star b star c is equal to a star b star c. Let's look at another case. How about the case where a is less than or equal to c and c is less than or equal to b? In this case, a star b star c is min a b star c, which is a star c. Again, min a b in this case is a because a is less than or equal to b. And a star c is min a c, which is a because a is less than or equal to c. Now a star b star c is a star min b c, which in this case is a star c because the smaller of b and c for this case is c. And a star c is min a c, which is a. So again, since both a star b star c is equal to a and a star b star c is also equal to a, we have that a star b star c is equal to a star b star c. So we checked case one, a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c, and we checked case two, a less than or equal to c less than or equal to b. There are four other cases that you might want to check yourself. Case three is b less than or equal to a less than or equal to c. Case four is b less than or equal to c less than or equal to a. 
Case five, C less than or equal to A less than or equal to B. And case six is C less than or equal to B less than or equal to A. Associativity holds for all six cases. Again, you should check this in detail for yourself. So we have for all A, B, and C, and Z, A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. Therefore, Z star is a semigroup. Another example. Is Z together with subtraction a semigroup? The answer is no. Let's look at a counterexample. If we let A equal 1, B equal 2, and C equal 3, then A minus B minus C is 1 minus 2 minus 3, which is negative 1 minus 3, and that's equal to negative 4. However, A minus B minus C is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3, which is 1 minus negative 1, or 1 plus 1, which is 2. Since negative 4 is not equal to 2, subtraction is not associative in Z. Therefore, Z minus is not a semigroup. Another example. Let S equal the set consisting of U, V, and W, and define star using the following table. We've already seen that star is a binary operation on this set S. What about associativity? Is S star a semigroup? Well, let's look at an example. Let's take U star V star W. Well, U star V, according to the table, is W. So U star V star W is W star W, which again, according to the table, is V. And what about U star V star W? Well, V star W is U, according to the table. So U star V star W is U star U, which, according to the table, is V. Oh, so they're equal. However, this single computation does not show that star is associative in S. In fact, we have a counterexample. U star W star V is W star V, which is equal to V. While U star W star V is equal to U star V, which is W. Oh, so they're not equal in this case. And this single counterexample is enough to show that star is not associative in S. Therefore, S together with the operation star is not a semigroup. Associativity has a nice property of being closed downwards. By this, we mean that if star is associative in a set A and B is a subset of A, then star is also associative in the set B. The reason for this is that the definition of associativity involves only a universal statement. This is a statement that describes a property that is true for all elements without mentioning the existence of any new elements. A universal statement begins with the quantifier for all, sometimes stated every, that's that upside down A, and it never includes the quantifier there exists or there is. That's written as a backwards E. As a simple example, if every object in set A is a fruit and B is a subset of A, then every object in B is a fruit. The universal statement we are referring to might be for all x, p of x, where p of x is the property x is a fruit. In the case of associativity, the universal statement is for all x, for all y, for all z, x star y star z is equal to x star y star z. Let's look at an example. 
let 2z equal the set of even integers. Is 2z together with multiplication a semigroup? Yes, it is. When we multiply two even integers, we always get an even integer. This is probably intuitively clear to you. However, we will actually give a rigorous proof of this in lesson four. So this shows that multiplication is a binary operation on 2z, set of even integers. Since multiplication is associative in z, and 2z is a subset of z, it follows from what we previously stated about being closed downwards that multiplication is also associative in 2z. So 2z, together with multiplication, is a semigroup. Let star be a binary operation on a set S. We say that star is commutative, or sometimes we use the word abelian in S, if for all x, y, z, and s, we have x star y equal to y star x. Some examples of commutative semigroups are the natural numbers together with addition, the integers with addition, the natural numbers with multiplication, the integers with multiplication. Let's look at another example. Let s equal the set of integers and to find star by a star b equals min a b, where min a b is the smallest of a or b. Is s star a commutative semigroup? Well, we already saw that s star is a semigroup. And in fact, yes, it is a commutative semigroup. So since we've already seen that it's a semigroup, we just need to check that it's commutative. There are two cases to consider. The first case is if a is less than or equal to b. Then a star b is equal to min a b, which is a, because a is less than or equal to b. And b star a is min b a, which is also a, because again, a is less than or equal to b. Since both a star b is equal to a and b star a is equal to a, we have that a star b is equal to b star a. Case two is b less than or equal to a. In this case, we have a star b equal to min a b, which is b this time, because b is less than or equal to a. And b star a is min b a, which again is b. Since both a star b is equal to b and b star a is equal to b, we have that a star b is equal to b star a. So commutativity holds for both cases. For all a and b and z, we have a star b equal to b star a. It follows that z star is a commutative semigroup. Another example, let s equal n and define star by a star b equals a. Is S star a commutative semigroup? Well, star is a binary operation on N because the output is always equal to one of the inputs, namely the left one. A star B star C is equal to A star C, which is equal to A, right? Because we're always taking the leftmost entry. And this is equal to A star b star c, because again, we just take the one on the left. This shows that star is associative in n. How about commutativity? Well, 2 star 5 is equal to 2, but 5 star 2 is equal to 5. They're not equal. This counterexample shows that star is not commutative in n. So here, n star is a semigroup but it's not a commutative semigroup.